<laughs> we are here we're about to go through Disney security. So I have to show you some Disney pavement for a minute, but that'll give you some time to please hit that like button. And let me just say officially happy holidays. We are kicking them off today right here at the Magic Kingdom. So give me one sec. I'll be right back. Let me do this security thing. Monorail always does that. I, uh, I saw that last night. Ferris closed the last night of HHN. Was there to what? Two in the morning? I messaged him because I was also awake at 2 a.m. <laughs> saying, I don't know if you're going to make it to MK. He was like, I'm going to try. And he beat me here by two minutes. Impressive. You know why I was so, I was so upset? I probably shouldn't have done this because I would have been here right on time. Is I ran to my storage unit to try to find my Mickey ear Santa hat. And we must have buried it in, like, in the bottom of like a Christmas box somewhere. I could not find it. I'm like, all right, I'm going to be so late. I got to go. But we are rocking. The Don't Stop Believing, baby. No, that shirt is fired. <laughs> a lot of fun memories in this shirt. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun together, Ferris and I. Since I moved to Orlando, very lucky to have Ferris as a friend. Shout out to Tay for introducing us. But uh, we've had a lot of fun in this shirt. A lot of Christmas memories. SeaWorld. The best. <laughs> Even uh, Epcot Universal here all around Disney, lots of fun. And that's what we're going to have today, some early morning Fonzies. It is a crisp morning. That is why not only am I wearing sleeves, a three-quarter sleeve deck. It is 55 degrees here. So, Farris, sleep. I was going to say, you must be, like, layered up. Yeah, I am layered up. He wears a sweatshirt when it's, like, 75. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. This brisk weather. My mom is coming to town next week, my brother the week after. And they're like, what's the weather going to be like? I was planning their trips last night. I'm like, you guys have perfect weather. 80 to 84 during the day. 60 to 64 at night. All next week. Also, great running weather. It's the Run Disney weekend. Wine and Dine is this weekend. It kicks off tomorrow. We have a lot of people in town. I just started a little group chat with all the ABC people who are here running. If you're in town, hit us up. Jump on our Discord. Let us know. I think we're all doing the expo later on today to pick up our bibs. Tomorrow morning is the 5K. We're going to live stream it, so make sure you're subscribed. You get that bell on so you don't miss it. I'm not saying you have to wake up at that time, but maybe tune in, watch the replay, see where we're at. But I'm going to live stream the whole thing from pre-race, the whole race, all the characters, all the excitement, the finish line. Uh, and we're hanging out with friends all weekend. Sa uh, Saturday, Lauren is running all three races. So is like Ali and a lot of other people too. Maniacs, Kenny. <laughs> Maniacs. But uh, 10K is Saturday morning, half marathon Sunday morning. I'll be at all the races, but I'm only doing the 5K because I'm a sensible human being. I know my limits. I'm out of breath running from the car to here right now. <laughs> oh, I see Christmas stuff already. That's crazy. That's yeah, crazy. it is the holiday season. Let's show you the magic instead of my big red face. Well, last, year was a, last year was the first, but I guess this year's the second because of the party, right? Party, yeah. So last year they didn't do a Mickey's Not So Scary on the first. So the first was the decorations. But since last night was the last Mickey's Not So Scary, Today is the first day of holiday decor. So I do have green and red. Like this is the green and then the red. Nice. I forgot my Christmas magic band on the counter. I ran out of the house so fast. <laughs> but hopefully my new passes in here. There it is. It's the most wonderful time. Oh yeah. We are. What's Happy it? holidays. Adventures by Carney. Adventures by Carney. I'll try and take it. Is that YouTube? Or We're live on YouTube, yeah. YouTube? Well, happy holidays. Scott, have a good one. Representing Kentucky, Louisville. Look at this. An overnight transformation. I talk about this every year. It's one of the coolest things I think Disney does. Is last night, there was a Halloween party here until after midnight. All right, hold on. We're going to take a picture. What? I was thinking of a video. You were going. Oh, you're doing a video? I want you to be in it. I want you to be in it. Oh, all right, all right. No, you, you're not saying anything. Just be in it. I'll just be in it. The train pulling in, the 100. Mickey's already got the red on. 
the red and green everywhere. It's magical. See, like I was saying last night, Christmas party, people probably didn't leave the park until 1 a.m. The last show is at midnight. Then people slowly creep out. If you get in line at midnight, you're allowed to stay here too. So people leave around 1, 1 30. I've done it in years past, trying to be the last person to leave at the last Christmas party. And it's funny because one year, I think they didn't know I was still in the park. I saw the trucks pull out onto Main Street full of people and decorations ready to go. And they literally start taking down Halloween and putting up Christmas and then holiday decorations. And they work all throughout the night from basically 1.30 until probably a half an hour ago. I'm guessing they were pulling the trucks out about a half hour ago. No tree yet. No tree yet. The tree is a massive undertaking, but all the pumpkins are gone. We now have garland and the bells on the street lights. The Main Street Station looking festive. So they're going to add more and more every night. Also, the Grand Floridian already has their, uh, whatchamacallit house, gingerbread house up. And it's not completed, but it's almost done, which is amazing. Hollywood Studios started putting stars up on Sunset Boulevard this week as well. So I'm sure they have some Christmas Day core. We're going to be checking in on all the parks over the next few days. Lots of race weekend and lots of holiday stuff. Bringing you all the fun. So this was full of pumpkins and the pumpkin people. <laughs> now we have the Christmas colors. All the holiday decorations are up. I shouldn't say all, but a lot of them, it's just been, it's an amazing transformation. You think we have a jingle cruise yet? <laughs> Thank you for your service. Well, we could always just walk over there too. More garland around the theater. Down Main Street again. Last night at 1.30 in the morning, still pumpkins and Halloween decorations everywhere. Everything is down. And some, a sprinkling of that holiday pixie dust is here at the Magic Kingdom. I'm also thinking about possibly the end of the stream. <laughs> taking the monorail from here over to Epcot. We have a bunch of friends who are over there today. I think uh, Andrew, Quick Kenny, Mandy. I think Allie's somewhere in the parks too. And uh, Peaches is coming to town. I know uh, Tomorrowland Traveler and Tori are coming tonight. But I think a lot of people are at Epcot today. So maybe at the end of this, maybe, we'll just take a monorail ride over there and see if anything's happening at Epcot. Everyone's going on Guardians. It's hard to turn down. Whoa, there's no crying at Disney or during the holidays. What is happening? We have some lighted garland over there. Some would say it's lit. <laughs> we got a super chat. Rosita, thank you so much for the super chat. It says, ooh, layering up in Florida. <laughs> and she says she loves the ABC crew. We love you, Rosita. Thank you so much for that $20 super chat. You are amazing. Also, shout out to all the Patreons. We'll be doing some special stuff for them, as well as our Patreon monthly Zoom call will be on the 7th. So if you're a Patreon member, hop on our Zoom call that night and ask me anything. Hang out. See what's going on. I might even bring my mom along for the ride. So to give you an idea of the schedule and upcoming stuff, like I said, tomorrow morning we'll be live streaming the 5K for the Wine and Dine Run weekend. Uh, we might do another live stream later that day. We might do another one today. If it's exciting enough, we're going to the Expo at Disney's ESPN Wide World of Sports. So if it's exciting enough for a live stream, we might go live again today. Tomorrow's a 5K. Mike go live a second time. We'll see how the day goes. Saturday's the 10K. We might do some fun stuff there, possibly. Sunday, we might, well, we'll definitely do the finish line for the half marathon. It's very exciting. They go all out. Monday, the grand reopening of Blizzard Beach. It's been closed forever. So we're going to go be the first people there. We're going to do a live stream from Blizzard Beach, 10 a.m. on Monday. What are you doing Monday? You want to go to Blizzard Beach? Yeah, I should be down. For... Uh, and then next week, we're in the parks every day. So again, make sure you got that bell on, you hit all notifications. And if you haven't hit the like button yet, help me out. 
I put a big smile on my face. We got 110 people watching and only 58 likes. If everyone hits the like button right now, think about the magic we could create together. The holiday spirit. Yes, do it in the holiday spirit. This could be a future thumbnail. <laughs> Grab one horizontal for me if you can. Thumbnail. So when you see this thumbnail uh, next week, you could say, I was there when. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful future thumbnail. All right, let's see if we can find some more Christmas decor. Maybe uh, maybe we can have a Jingle Cruise ride. I doubt it. It usually comes later, later on. But we'll go check it out. So the park technically opens at 9 a.m. Uh, 8.30 is the early entry. However, I always recommend people get to the park super early like we did today. We walked in at, you know, 8, 10, 8, 15 because they'll let you into Main Street. But then the ropes are set up around all different areas. Where's the early entry? That side, right? That's what I thought. Tomorrowland's the early entry. Let's go over there. I think I've had a friend be kind enough to put me on their reservation. So we'll go test it out. If it works, great. If not, we hang out on Main Street for a little bit and have some fun together. Oh, I don't want to walk in their photos. One of my favorite photos in the park, the partner statue with Mickey and Walt Disney himself. We are getting a Walt Disney statue over at Epcot starting December 5th. Exciting stuff. All the walls are coming down. The new Luminous Nighttime Show begins. I'm very excited about that. All right, let me get my annual pass out here. Uh, you have your annual pass? All right. Everyone, I'm gonna mute you for one second just so I can keep my friend's name. I don't know if he's okay with it or not, so we're just gonna press mute real quick. All right, we, uh, we had a very serious cast member who needed everybody present and in the park. I will say sometimes cast members, and you know what, they're doing their job, so I'm not mad, but sometimes you have a cast member, if your name's on the reservation, they say you can go ahead into the park, early entry. But uh, he said I had to be, the person had to be here, but they're still getting ready. <laughs> they're on vacation, so oh well. We'll explore Main Street Maybe we'll try again in 20 minutes. <laughs> See if somebody else is feeling generous. I mean, there's plenty to see. It's beautiful, mainstream USA. Again, like I was talking about before we the park doesn't with my name to general guests. We walked in at 10 after 8 or something like that. You can get all your pictures in while the park is kind of empty. You can get your Starbucks. Kind of just take in all the little things on Main Street. We'll go show you some fun facts. I mean, we also could go to the contemporary, look at that, and come back. Because we do have time. We were one of the first ones here to show you Main Street, and it all decked out for the holidays. And we'll come back. But maybe we'll, uh, 
go show you the Grand Floridian, the gingerbread house. I don't know if it's up and operational yet, but I know yesterday it looked like it was coming along real quick. The signage was out, the house was up. It was uh, getting shingled with that gingerbread. The sun is rising over the Plaza ice cream parlor. It looks beautiful. Are you ready for the holidays, Ferris? Are you still in Halloween mode? I'm ready. For, I've been ready. This is the longest I know. I, ever. I, everyone in Orlando has been saying the same thing. Like, we've been celebrating Halloween since August 10th. I think if uh, you live down here in Orlando, everyone's kind of super pumped for, for it to be the holidays. How many uh, nights did you do HHN? 24. 24 nights at Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. Unbelievable. <laughs> all right, so with all those times, you've probably done all the houses so many times. Yeah. Tell the truth. Overall, what are your top three houses? Exorcist, Darkest Deal, and number three is going to be Oddfellow. Interesting choices. Darkest Deal was my number one, so I'm cool with you there. Exorcist I thought was okay. Not bad. And uh, yeah, the other one I guess is kind of in the middle for me. But Darkest Deal I think is in everybody's top three. What's Such top a good What's your top three? Good. Darkest Deal one. Um, I like the uh, Blood Moon. Mm -hmm. Big fan of Blood Moon. And number three, hmm, this is a tough one. <sighs> I don't know, what, uh... Hi, sorry, I didn't know you were taking a photo. I'll go over here. <laughs> what would be number three, hmm? Probably your number three, too. What's the name of the house? Oddfellow? Oh, yeah, Oddfellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. We will be getting over to Universal for their holiday stuff as well. If you want to see us there last year, we did a hilarious video where uh, Lauren and I were parade commentators for the parade because they do have the Macy's parade floats come by in their parade and then they store them. You can go look at them during the day. Oh, you know what I want to see? Can I make a quick reservation to get my hair cut today at the Magic Kingdom? I hope everyone's having a fantastic morning. We're kicking it off right here at the Magic Kingdom. The holidays are upon us. Oh, it's still not open yet. We beat them. We beat them. We'll check back. So do you want to uh, take a boat to the Grand Flow? Yeah, the, I know the gingerbread house is up. Actually. Uh, yeah, I want to see that. All right. I like it. Uh, I am going to... Hold up one second, Ferris.
lot of tours going on. <laughs> yeah, two little mini tour groups going on right here. I almost said they forgot pumpkins because that's normally where they say cereal soon, but those are stroller wheels. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Not bad. I had to make sure you were talking to me. I'm like, wait, he knows me. <laughs> well, <laughs> in an unprecedented move, we are leaving the Magic Kingdom before it opens to go show you some of the decorations over at Disney's Grand Floridian. But we're coming back. We're coming back. Do you have more stuff? I'm just gonna make either way though? Or like, is it? I'm, I'm hoping that once we can get into the lens, we can see some other fun stuff. All right. We'll be back, Lee. What? The boats, the boats yeah, they uh, they got to bring people here. <laughs> so they got to bring people back. <laughs> they already have the advertising out <laughs> for Mickey's very merry Christmas party. Uh, it's soon. I don't, I, I know it's already sold out. Oh, really? Um, but I'm more, I'm actually a little bit more excited for these Jollywood nights. I don't have tickets for either one yet. What, they're, what is that? What is that? so over at Hollywood Studios, they're doing their own kind of Christmas party. Oh, really? Yeah, they're, uh, there'll be a special themed bar and lounge over at Tower of Terror. Uh, the ABC Commissary Street will be turned into like Latin Christmas. Oh, no, we're uh, going to a Grand Flow. But you're catching the bus. Yeah. Yes. Am I either going the wrong way? Oh, okay. Walkways closed, and I just want to let you know. Oh, thanks so much. You're the nicest. Thank you. So that uh, little avenue, I call it Cartwheel Links, where I'm known to do cartwheels. But by ABC Commissary, that's going to be like a uh, Latin Christmas vibe with like a band. They're doing Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam fireworks. You remember that one, right? Have you seen that? Have you seen that? Probably. What? You don't remember Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam? No. Oh, they used to do, uh, when there was fireworks over there. Now they don't really do fireworks at Hollywood. So is this event free or no? No. <laughs> Come on, it's Disney. It's, uh, it's extremely expensive, which is why I don't have tickets yet. But I'm going to try to go to opening night. We'll see. It's sold out, but I might have a connection. We'll see if we can find some magic. So it was nice of her to tell us the walkway is closed. I don't know why it's closed. If you haven't been to Disney recently, there is now almost a complete loop around. You could walk from the TTC, is the one end point, to the Polynesian. You're going to pass the new Holiday Inn. You can see uh, that big gray construction site. We call it the Holiday Inn. Through the Grand Flow. And then around, follow the monorail over to the Magic Kingdom. And if you wanted to, you can keep walking to Bay Lake Tower and the Contemporary. And that's kind of the other dead end there. Here comes our ride. If you missed our epic, amazing stream on Monday, I also highly recommend checking it out, especially if you're still in the Halloween spirit or if you just want to see some really fun stuff. We did it all. We did the golf cart parade. We did the pumpkin contest. We did the... Something's a half million. What? Something's a half million. Yeah, Barris, uh Ferris is TikToks documenting a lot of the fun we had over the weekend. One of them over inside a half a million views. If I do my math correctly, that's about 500,000 views. But yeah, on the live stream, it was a long one. We did, I think, five or six hours. But we did, like I said, we did a, what is it, golf cart parade? Pumpkins. We did the strawberry shortcake eating competition, which was hilarious. We had prime seating for Happily Ever After on the beach with the music pumped in. Then we got exclusive 
coverage. I think there was only 20 to 30 people who got to see the Headless Horseman for like 20 minutes. Came out, interacted with us, had a great time. Got to meet Ichabod Crane. Uh, super cool over at Tricycle D Ranch. And then we did a little tour of our favorite loops decorated for the holidays, which was absolutely gorgeous. So cool. So well themed. I would definitely check out that stream after this one. Good morning, my friends. Here comes the waves. Just getting a little sun. I feel like Animal Kingdom is always like the last one to do decorations, right? Yeah. When did they do it last year? I mean, it wasn't like super far after everybody else, but I like their holiday stuff because they do the uh, animals in the entryway, like the puppeteers. I don't know, maybe the, Allie's over there, I could ask her. She's heading there this morning. We have lots of people in town. If you're ever in town, let me know, jump in our Discord. We have a whole section in our Discord underneath Carney Crew Meetups. You could drop your itinerary, see what's going on. Also, I put in there uh, uh, my schedule under Pete's schedule as much as, most, uh, as much as I can. I say most of the time, but as much as I can. All right, let's see. Uh, I think this is us. Our Discord's amazing. It's completely free if you're unaware. All you need to do is just sign up. I recommend using your name, uh, your actual name or your YouTube name so we know who you are. But it's a beautiful, kind community on the internet, which is crazy to say. And if you like stuff like this, good times, positive vibes, the Discord's for you. And again, if you like stuff like this, please hit the like button. Uh, we already passed 100, so thank you so much. But we got 150 and change watching and 104 likes. Everybody hit that like button. Let's, I think we're easily getting 200 today. We're in the holiday spirit. How's it going? Going well. Are we heading to the Grand Floridian? That's our first stop. I love it. After you, you could pick your seat first. My pleasure. All right. We better <laughs> hold on tight. Where you want to sit over there? Yeah, like oh yeah. What? It'll kick up a little bit. Relax. This is the life, right? Also, I got to give a big shout out to my man, the Tomorrowland Traveler. Uh, you should definitely go follow him on YouTube, as well as if you ever need to plan a vacation, go to thetomorrowlandtraveler.com. But I am using the brand new DJI Osmo Six gimbal i got it last night as a gift from him he said happy hallow thanks merry christmas day eve gift uh complete surprise it just showed up at my door thank you so much daniel and tori you guys are amazing i'm so excited to see we'll see both of them this weekend they're doing some races those maniacs um when you're not busy is there any way i can use your phone for the comments We'll say hi to some people in the chat. Well, it's definitely getting warmer. I feel like it definitely hit 60 something. I'm ready for I'm ready for my short sleeves again now. We're in the holiday spirit for sure. With the don't stop believing. But the long sleeves. Oh, what was I thinking? It was a chilly morning. It was nice. The first night we slept with the windows open last night because it hit like 56 degrees. It was pure magic and you guys are pure magic thanks for being here i really appreciate it we've already went into the magic kingdom we showed you main street decorated they've begun they didn't put the tree up yet but a lot of the christmas stuff is up the halloween stuff is down but while we wait to get into different lands we're going to head over to the contemporary the contemporary the grand floridian and show you i know that the gingerbread house looked like uh it was almost done yesterday so we're going to see if they completed it last night while we're here on the boat, I'll say hi to some people here in the chat. Thanks to everybody who's here chatting with us. Uh, all right, we got Andrew who's on his way here, checking in from the airport. 
On the go with CeeLo, what's going on? On the go with CeeLo says they should sell tickets to watch the transformation. I would pay to watch that. I mean, that's interesting. Maybe even like if they don't want people in the park because people would get in the way. They literally have just trucks going up and down Main Street, people taking things down, putting things up. It is an army of people. But maybe if like someone filmed it and then like did a pay-per-view, generate money that way. Get rid of Disney Plus. I mean, uh, not Disney Plus, Genie Plus. You can keep Disney Plus. Sorry, my, my, my brain's not awake yet. I, like Farris, went to bed at 2.30, and then I was up at 6. What's up, Bill D? Good morning. Peaches Peaks. It's chilly 31 degrees to start the day. I know Peaches is heading here, so it will warm up for you, Peaches. Mr. Dave, good morning. Thanks for the stream, Pete. Well, thanks for being here, Mr. Dave. Sarah Garvey says, Pete, any chance uh, you might be headed to Epcot after Mix It Up Monday? Uh, we could try to. I know Monday uh, I want to get the opening of Blizzard Beach, but I don't know how long I'll be there for, so maybe after I do that I could swing by. It, I think somebody's performing there Monday night that we might want to see. Oh, we also will be live streaming Sunday night. I totally forgot to say this. Uh, Sheila E. will be at Epcot, and we're also doing the race weekend party. They throw a party at the end of every race weekend, and it's Sunday night. So we're going to live stream that for you as well. Scott Whalen says, good morning from a chilly New Jersey. Bill says, hoodie weather. Ferris is the right idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. I think we still have a few Adventures by Carney hoodies left. If anybody wants one, we have them, I think, some in gray and some in black. They are the most comfortable sweatshirt ever. Me and Lauren love them. I get to wear it once a year. Lauren gets to wear it four times a week. Rosita says, it's 35 degrees in Massachusetts. Yikes. Luciano says, good morning from Brazil. Shout out wow. to Brazil in the house. Lynette, good morning. Says, uh, please hit the like when you come in, everybody. Thanks. Thanks, Lynette. Bill says, let's pump those likes up. Oh, thanks, everybody, for uh, being so cool. AR Glover says, thank you for sharing this with us. It's beautiful. My pleasure. Like I said, if you're just joining us, we've already done the match game, but we're going back. So you, you didn't miss it. You can always rewind, but we're going back. We want to show you in the meantime, since the park doesn't open until 9, and the cast member we went up to is being a, uh, doing their job. That's what they were doing. I'm not going to say anything mean. But we're on someone's reservation, but the person wasn't with us, so we weren't allowed in. We tried for the early entry. We'll go back at 9. Stephen Noon said uh, he heard 11-3 for the Jingle Cruise. All right. Maybe that's the official. Maybe we'll get the – I mean, that's tomorrow. So maybe we'll get the soft opening today, or maybe we'll just go on it and see what they did. We'll look at the Christmas decorations without the whole spiel. I can do a lot of the Jingle Cruise jokes. I'm pretty confident, or at least make them up. Katie McGinnis says it's 28 degrees in Chester County, Pennsylvania. Yikes. Jacob Herring, what's going on? Says, do you think Mickey and them will be in their holiday outfits? I think so. It's a good call. We should see if Mickey's in their outfits today. David Lung, Siva Co., great to see you. You're back. Look at that. Bill and Katie McGinnis, both hanging out in Pennsylvania, so close to each other, didn't even know it. Jason Meckes is here, says he's uh, 22 over in the Poconos area. Pennsylvania repping hard today in the chat. John Thorne, good morning. Says Pete, hit refresh. All right, let's hit refresh. Is the picture better now? Hopefully I did it earlier. I've been trying to do it. Robert T says, I'm lurking and teaching. That's my kind of teacher. We have a few teachers who watch this, uh, including some in New York who I know like, we'll put it on like when the kids are like just hanging out in the background because we keep this family friendly. Matthew Kent says, hey there, Pete, good morning. How's everything? I'm doing great. I'm hanging out with my man, Farris Films. Go check him out. Follow him on TikTok. Uh, he still has accounts on YouTube and Instagram. You should totally go follow as well. <laughs> but the man blows up on the TikTok machine. It's not even close. Todd W. Uh, would love to see a Jollywood Nights live stream. Todd, we're going to try and make it happen. I gotta, just got to just gotta, just gotta rob a bank. <laughs> and then I'll be right there. Uh, Marcus, hola, what's going on? Uh, Tomorrow the Traveler said he also picked up the Osmo 3 Pocket this week. We'll let you know what to think. I'm excited to hear your review. Lady Kirk's in the house. Again, big shout out to Rosita Klein. Thank you so much for the super chat. Mark Mueller, good morning. Uh, David Lung said the first Christmas party in Magic at the Magic Kingdom is on November 9th. So a week from today. Let's go. Ooh, I didn't even know they had those out today. Thanks so much. Have a good one, Lyle. 
Uh, Lady Kirk's over at French Quarter said, trying the new pumpkin beignets. Oh my, what are we doing here? I want a pumpkin beignet. Stephen Noon said, the first Jollywood is on 11-11, uh, so November 11th. Make a wish. We're going to try for that one for sure, everyone. Also, I look at the EDC, um, we can, uh, I feel like Sunday's the best day on now. I know, so my brother and I were talking about this too. Uh, for those curious, my, my mom and her boyfriend will be in town for a week, and my brother's coming to town, and my brother and I and a bunch of friends from here in Florida are doing uh, EDC, a music festival here. And we want to go Sunday because it's the best lineup. My brother was even like, oh, man, we really should go Saturday, but I really want to go. Sunday's the best day. I was like, let's just stick to Sunday. It's basically Sunday's the worst day. But I checked yesterday. I'm like, oh, wow, Sunday's the I love the lineup on Sunday, yeah, including that sunset yeah. set. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, Jordan Garrett says, wait, the 9th is the first Christmas party, but the 7th is the first day of the Frozen Christmas show on the castle at night. All right. There we go. A little clarification from the chat here. Thanks to everybody helping me out. I need you to send me a schedule so I can come. What? I need you to send me a schedule so I can do whatever you do. Oh, I have a crazy schedule. I'll send it to you. I've already typed most of it out because uh, I did it for my brother and my mom and everybody else who's in town. Just kind of like, hey, here's what my plan is. We'll be at, we're going to have a good time. Pete and Farris are back. <laughs> Farris. That's Farris with an A. Oh God, they're taking us out. Making it right? You going this way? I'm going that way. I didn't even see your signal on. <laughs> Sean Urban, what's going on? Good morning. Sean Urban's got a great YouTube channel as well. Yes, Rosita, if you missed the golf cart parade fort wilderness stream on monday it was one of my favorite streams of the year so much fun and a lot of just great moments uh, hilarious moments fun moments special moments epcot don good morning <laughs> sean i'm with you if it's free it's for me antonio says i'm new well welcome in what's going on antonio thanks for being here the cats mouse game so they have to run disney this weekend i know we're running it we were talking about this earlier. Uh, I'm doing the 5K live. If you want to see what it's like being in a race, we'll be live streaming. I know a lot of you don't wake up that early because it starts at 5 in the morning. But you can always watch the replay or jump in midway through. But we'll be there for all three races. Lauren and a bunch of our friends who are here in town are doing all three. 5K Friday, 10K Saturday, half marathon Sunday, and then Blizzard Beach Monday. <laughs> Plus, we'll be live streaming at night, too. Like I said, Sunday night, we'll be at the Epcot run party. I think uh, also we'll probably be live streaming a lot. There's going to be a lot of double streams, a lot of content. I don't even know how to get in with all these construction walls. <laughs> what is happening here? Oh, yeah, uh, there we go. There's a tunnel. There we go. It's a grand wall. <laughs> <laughs> it is the, the grandest walls I've ever seen. Right now, we're headed to the Grand Flow because we want to see if the gingerbread house is complete. They started it. I know it looked pretty far along yesterday. And then we're going to go back to the Magic Kingdom. So we've already gone in. We showed you the decorations, but we're going to go back. Antonio says, when will all the Christmas stuff be up? Disney typically, I think, gets most of it done the week, uh, the week of Thanksgiving or like, I would say maybe two weeks total for like parks and resorts. Here's your wine and dine uh, run weekend schedule. So that expo, we'll be going in today over at the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. If it's exciting enough, we'll go live again later on today. But that's where everyone goes to pick up their bibs, get all their merch, get all that fun stuff that's happening today, Friday and Saturday from various hours. But today, 10 to 7, tomorrow, 12 to 12 to 7 and Saturday 11 to 3. Every bus has, uh, there's a digital event card. If you want to check out all the stuff, just use that QR. So the 5K starts at 5 a.m. But you got to be there by 4 tomorrow. That's going to be fun. Same thing with uh, the 10K, the half, same thing. And the post-race party we're going to starts at 10. That's going to be a long stream and a crazy one for us. Uh, what else is going on here? 
like Christmas in here. It does. It smells very Christmassy. Oh, they're still working on it, but it smells like Christmas. There it is, the gingerbread house. Jamie's got 93 days to her vacation. Captain Kirk is here with Lady Kirk. So here we go. We get live footage of them putting together the gingerbread house. This year, the gingerbread house will have 1,050 pounds of honey, 140 pints of egg whites, 600 pounds of powdered sugar, 700 pounds of chocolate, 800 pounds of flour, 35 pounds of spices, tons of creativity, and Disney magic and pixie dust. That's kind of fun too, food waste only. <laughs> but we haven't shown you that you can see the floor again. This has been behind walls and there's been uh, wood down on the ground. They have finished their work here in the lobby. What do you think? There's been mixed reviews. Going back to the chat, Lynette says, subscribe and hit the notifications. Pete has great streams coming up. Thanks, Lynette. Trevor says, I'm going to light a Christmas candle. There you go. T3, the Tomorrowland Travelers. Wish I could be there. We're, we miss you, too. Wish you were here, too. Um, I guess we should just walk around. I mean, what do you want? to take a monorail back? <laughs> <laughs> have some fun? Yeah. Hiadros, what's going on? Good morning. Says, what a perfect morning for a boat ride. Yeah, it was very relaxing. Oh, was good, very nice. The Cat's Mouse says, it's 27 degrees in Ohio right now. Shout out to Ohio. Lauren B said, just liked and subscribed. It's 26 here in Tennessee. 127 days into Walt Disney World. It can't come fast enough. Lauren, I'm so excited for you. And thanks for subscribing. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to see what this sign says. I like the uh, stay in the loop. Oh, it's more wine and dine info. It is the wine and dine half marathon weekend. We're bringing you all the coverage. <laughs> Tomorrowland Travels did already over 100 likes. Great job, everyone. Don't stop believing. Love that, of course, referencing the epic shirt today. Don't stop. This is Farris Films. You can follow him on TikTok. <laughs> Rosita says, you guys are doing a lot of running. I really want to get in shape for 5K 2025. Rosita, you can be in 5K by January 1. Just one day at a time. David Long says, I can't wait for the Grand Flow construction walls to come down. Uh, they're almost worse than Walcott. I believe he's referencing Epcot, which has been construction walls for the last four years. But those are finally coming down December 5th. Oh, my God. That was amazing. I forgot about those. Who has those? I never got a chance to see them. We did romantic photos here, family photos. This is set up. And they have the slipper. You're allowed to take pictures with the glass slipper in front of this beautiful backdrop here at the Grand Floridian. Bar's not open yet. Dang. <laughs> Here's your large map of the Grand Flow. A massive property. And you can get some pressed pennies here too? What? Hi, Debbie. Hi, Lacey. He says, good morning, just subscribe. Thanks, Lacey, that's awesome. <laughs> Tomorrow, Charlie says, I'm freezing in Tampa at 68 degrees. Someone save me. <laughs> Hi, Katie Dube. Checking in from New Hampshire. Says, 29 up there. We are getting weather reports from all around the country. I love it. And the world. What's the temperature in Brazil? Oh, probably should have read this first. <laughs> uh, I cannot show security. They don't like that. So here's some Disney uh, beautiful floor mats. Oh, scary. Here's your construction update. Lots of work happening here at the Grand Floridian. You're probably like, hey, what does 800 a night get me? Well, you're going to have a brand new roof over your head. Looks good. You want to know what's behind those construction walls? Lots of concrete. <laughs> Let's take a monorail ride. We're doing it all today. We're taking a boat ride. We're taking a monorail ride. Oh, we definitely have to take a train ride. If we go on the Jungle Cruise, we're going to take another boat ride. 
I might even take another monorail to Epcot to get a construction update there. I'm feeling frisky. So if you see the monorails heading this way, that's the express monorail that just goes right from the uh, TTC to the Magic Kingdom. TTC is the Transportation and Ticket Center. That's where you park for the Magic Kingdom. We were lucky enough to park over at the uh, Contemporary and Bay Lake Tower because we know people who are staying on property. And we thought it was good enough to get us in at 8.30, but nay, nay, they're tough today, laying down the law on the first day of the holidays. But you know what? Even Santa has laws. There's naughty and nice. <laughs> we're, we just were being nice. I used to do this in my early 20s. I used to rip roofs like this and then lay down new plywood, cover them with the weather coating, put down the new shingles. See how he's tied in like that? That's the safe way to do it. You know what we used to do? Don't fall. <laughs> And we used to have to carry the shingles up on our shoulder up a ladder because now they just drop them off on the roof. It's really nice. But then again, people before me had it way worse. Here she comes. Oh boy. Monorail blue? Polar Express. Polar Express. We have 226 people hanging out, 144 likes. Let's get those likes up. Hey gang, great driving. Everybody, if you're in the holiday spirit, or even if you're still in the Halloween spirit, or you know what? You just need the Holy Spirit. No, just hit the like button. It would be super cool of you. And thanks to everyone who subscribed today. That's amazing. If you want some love, throw your name in the chat. We'll definitely recognize you. Like I said, we also have an amazing Discord. It's completely free. Over uh, 300 and change people all coming together in an amazing internet group. And everyone's nice and kind. How crazy is that? Also, if you want to follow in between the streams and all the mayhem and see when we're, we are live streaming, some of the stories and fun stuff when we're not live, uh, my Instagram is at official carney. My Twitter, or now X, is at your WDW guy. And my TikTok is Adventures by Carney. And if you really want to support the channel, you're able to do so. And we wouldn't have a channel without them. Check out our Patreon page, patreon.com backslash Adventures by Carney. We also have a website. If you just want to know where all of that stuff is, just go to adventuresbycarney.fun. That's right, dot fun. Hey, Evan, good morning. I'm great. How about you? I love it. Put me in a good mood. What you feeling? What you feeling? It's the holiday season. So, are we empty down there? I mean, there's a little bit of standing room there. So, whoop de doo and dickery dock. Uh, is there room? Is there standing room over here? Yeah. Happy holidays. It's all right, I'll stand. Would you like to sit? All right, we're headed back to the Magic Kingdom. It is officially open now. We went in very early, tried our early entry, it did not work. So then we came here to look at the gingerbread house. So now we're headed back. They do have some of the holiday decor up. It's amazing the turnaround overnight. Last night, Halloween party until one in the morning. And then those amazing Disney cast members came out in full force and from 1.30 in the morning till 6.30 this morning took down all the Halloween decorations and put up the first round of holiday decor. And we are celebrating. We're pumped. We're ready. No, wait, what? Hi, friends. Thank you. If you didn't hear, a uh, monorail tire blew out last week. <laughs> so that'll make this ride exciting. Although in the grand scheme of things, granted the monorail is very old. We have the oldest one, I think, in the world. 
Can I show it? <laughs> oh. What a fun day. Memories. Wow. Two years. Time is flying. So that was... So that's probably like November 3rd. No, no, I'm saying for this year because everything's a day behind. But maybe Hollywood Studios is decorated as well. Should we just go do all four parks? Check all four? Just keep the stream alive. Go check all the parks. Oh, we can't park up yet. Not until January. It's two o'clock. We got to wait until... Starting in January, I'm so excited. We'll be able to park hop anytime we want. We don't have to wait until two o'clock. Also reservations go away. It's gonna be a glorious time. A lot to look forward to in 2024. But look at these views. Tomorrow? I still think we should try and go on it and see if they did any decorations. If they're going to do it in two stages. I mean, what else are we doing? All right. I'm down for that. We try to keep we try to keep it interesting, but we have 251 people hanging out. If you could do me the big favor, please consider hitting that like button. It really does help. Helps the algorithm, puts a smile on my face. And if you're new, consider subscribing. There's so much content coming your way. This is just the tip of the holiday iceberg here in the Orlando theme parks, as well as the Run Disney Race Weekend this weekend. Blizzard Beach reopening. Lots of stuff happening. The Epcot Run Party Sunday. As well as holidays at all the other parks. We'll be over at Universal, SeaWorld. They all do an amazing job. SeaWorld already has their Christmas trees up. They do an amazing uh, holiday spread, if you will. <laughs> all right, it's time to head back in to the Magic Kingdom. Round two. Just a few people outside. Magic Kingdom. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. What's your go-to favorite Christmas song, Ferris? Uh, somewhere my mystery, oh, what a good song. I didn't even... Wow. Yeah, Home Alone, probably my favorite Christmas movie. Although, I mean, some of my favorite movies of all time are both... Home Alone and, I mean, Elf is so good too, though. Should we just stare at it? Yeah, that looks like the move. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Magic Kingdom. We're in for a fun-filled day of magic and spectacle as we proudly present the holidays. What a view. It is a beautiful morning here. We're in the mid 60s here in Orlando. After you, sir. Thank you for your service. Thank you very much for your support. Absolutely. Nice to see another Vietnam vet out and about. My father's a Vietnam vet. Well, is, was. But I truly believe we're only lucky enough 
to have this kind of fun and freedom to be able to do stuff like this because of our military and their family. So if you're uh, in the military or a member of a military family, thanks for all your sacrifices you've made so we can have this kind of fun. Veterans Day is coming up. We're in this month. How's it going, Jim? Where's the line that says, we were already in, we're cool? We don't get like stamps? Also, no annual pass holder entrance today? Weird. Train's just pulling in. Should we hop on the train first? Take it to, I'm sorry. I'm literally looking at the train like a little young kid and bumping into people. <laughs> you look fantastic. Train to Frontier and then maybe hop on Big Thunder. There's no line. And then we can walk it over to... Uh, Jingle Cruise or Pirates? It's your, it's your world, Pirates. We'll get a Tiana update. Did you see the... Uh, they've opened up some of the areas to look. They've finished the artwork on some of... Oh, uh, uh, looks good. Which park do you think is the most magical for the holidays? All the city You like that old vibe? Like the grandma's house vibe. You know when you're at Hollywood Studios, they have like those old like teapots and cups and saucers with like the old like rosy faced kids. It's all over. I don't know. I always think it's like a 50s yeah, Christmas like vibe. Yeah. I just like sunset. Sunset is great too, actually. Yeah, with the projections on snow. Tower of Terror, the snowing is great. The snope, as we call it, which is great because, you know, cuts back on at least one shower a day for me. I don't know if we picked the right line here, Ferris. Everyone agreed. They just said, no, what are we doing? We're hopping on the lines. Up. All right, the problem is we're only using one scanner here. Let's uh, hop, skip, jump over there. Oh, Ferris, you got to do that hair next. That looks great. His hair to the left. When the sun hits it, it looks good. Or are you going holiday colors? Green, green into red? Red into green? Candy cane it? Red and white? I always get very excited for uh, Farris's hair. I'm thinking this year for uh, St. Patrick's Day, they do that fundraiser for St. Baldrick's, maybe shaving it all off. I think it's content. What do you think? I'd have to set like a ridiculous goal though, like raise like 10 grand for pediatric cancer. I think we might time this just right to hop right on this train. We're headed back in. If you were with us on the first trip in, here we go again. It's the most magical time of the year. All the autumn, fall, Halloween decorations are down. All right. Oh, there. We'll just. I'll take a Main Street vehicle. I'll take the bus. You go to Starbucks. I know you're out. Can you uh, can you grab me a double espresso? It just it's just coffee. It's like two dollars. If you just order a double espresso, they just give it to you. Oh, should we take a trip? I don't. Know, I kind of want to be on the top deck of that bus. Let's take some Main Street vehicles. It's too much fun not to. We gotta always take the train. These are so much fun when the vehicles are out. We also have the horse-drawn 
uh, cable car here. Not cable car, what am I saying? The this, what am I saying? Words, brain, wake up. Oh yeah. Totally wanna hop on the bus. Good morning. I'm doing great, how about you? Yes, totally. I've never done this. That's all I want to go to anyway. One way trip to the castle. Oh yeah, this is where it's at. We are on the second story of the double-decker bus, headed to the, the castle. I've done a few Main Street vehicles, but I've never been up top on the bus, so this is very exciting for me. But while we're here hanging out, you can see some of the holiday decor that went up last night. If you're enjoying the stream and you're having some fun, we're hopefully making your day a little bit brighter, kicking it off on the right foot, please consider hitting that like button. And uh, if it's you're feeling real crazy, you can always subscribe. I recommend getting that bell on, hit all notifications because we're going to be live a lot, especially over the course of the next month. But this next week specifically is going to be so much fun. So when you hit the bell and hit all notifications, you'll get notified in an email or however you set up your YouTube that we are going live. There's always the replays too. So if you miss any part of a stream or if you're busy doing something, you can always come back and watch the replay. Leave a comment so I know you're there. So nice to have, what do we have? 330 friends here hanging out. Happy Thursday. You're almost made it through the week. I hope you're crushing those goals. And hopefully we're putting you in the holiday spirit. I would love to crush that 200 like mark. I mean, we have 330 people here. It should be... If we all do it together right now, we can make that happen. So again, they do the holiday decorations here in stages. Uh, you probably will uh, notice that the tree is not up yet. The tree does come in, I believe tonight. So this was phase one, was get all the Halloween and, and fall decorations down and then get up phase one. So we have all this beautiful garland and bows, the wreaths on the, um, the bells and wreaths on the lamppost and on the uh, storefronts. And then they'll add the tree, they'll add more decorations in the flower beds here on Main Street, as well as expanding around the park. Tomorrow, supposedly, is the first day of the Jingle Cruise as well. We're going to try and take a little trip on the jungle cruise today to see if any of the decorations have been put up yet. And like I said, we'll be checking in on all the parks over the next few days to bring you all the magic and the resorts as well. We did just take a quick trip over to the Grand Floridian to see uh, the gingerbread house just coming along. It looks like they need another day and it'll be, it'll be there. Here we go. Before you please remain seated at all times, keep your hands on the legs inside the box. Parents, please supervise your children and please refrain from smoking, drinking, and eating while we're traveling. Thank you, everyone. So we're on the second story. Bench seating uh, facing to the left and right, and then there's two seats up front to face forward. Here we go, taking a trip to the castle. Double-decker bus coming through.
See some of the Christmas and holiday decor up on the storefronts, on the lamppost, as we take our tour down Main Street towards the castle. We're gonna have people clear the road for us because it's getting very close. I think we're gonna let this horse go by first. Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a quick pause and we're letting the trolley go by. Once the trolley, again, that's what I was trying to say, the trolley. Ladies and gentlemen, as we um, continue our approach to Cinderella's castle, stay seated until you hear me get the all clear once again. Everyone, please remain seated until you hear me give you all a clue. Then at that time, I will drop the rope and let you get the bar. Thank you. The names are all uh, Disney cast members uh, from most of the time from the past who played an integral role in developing some of the magic and fun we have every day here. The very first name you see is Roy's name coming in, uh, kind of like a movie, uh, in the beginning of a movie where the credits roll early. Uh, uh, the producer's first, so Roy's kind of the producer, and then the last name you see is usually the director, where it says directed by and the last name above the Plaza Ice Cream Shop facing the castle is Walt Disney. Like I said, the last name, because he's the director, but also he gets a view of the castle every single day, the best seat in the house. A lot of people don't realize that Walt Disney never got to see the opening of Walt Disney World, just Disneyland. Sadly, he passed away before it opened. But Roy took the reins, was supposed to retire, stuck around to see the opening of Walt Disney World. And then he only passed away a few months after it opened. He really was holding on. And this was supposed to be called Disney World and Roy made the change to call it Walt Disney World after his brother. Here we go, we're picking it up. We have kids in the street. <laughs> kids screaming. She only honked 46 times. We got more kids. <laughs> Just blowing past the children. Here we are. Good morning. We're hanging out here in Orlando, Florida at the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. It's a brisk morning. You see some people in sweatshirts and long sleeves. It is in the 60s now, but it was in the 50s last night, and it was glorious. It has been so hot for so long. We uh, almost welcomed the cold weather. But it will heat up, and this whole next week is supposed to be beautiful weather between 80 and 84 during the day, 60 to 64 at night. So this is a fantastic time of year to be here. Besides seeing the fall and autumn decorations and Halloween, now, literally overnight, we turn into the not only Magic Kingdom, but across all the parks and resorts over the next week or two. And usually we're done two weeks in November and everything is up and happening. The Christmas parties begin uh, in the first two weeks. Both the Christmas party here, Mickey's Very Merry, as well as the new party, Jollywood Nights, over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Um, we're going to do the all clear now once um, we 
this and that. Please lower your head, watch your step, and let's wait until I drop the rope. Once again, please lower your head, watch your step, and grab those handlebars. Well, this was super cool. So there's three Main Street vehicles. You have the one pulled, the trolley pulled by the horse. We're on the double-decker bus. And then you have this old, uh, I like to call it the old-timey car. <laughs> it's a gorgeous morning. <laughs> Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Oh, thank you so much. Here we go. Woo, thank you so much. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look. How beautiful. It also seems like a nice quiet morning here too. Now that the ropes drop at nine o'clock, everyone kind of bum rushes their favorite ride, you know, heading back towards Seven Dwarfs, Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, Jungle Cruise, Haunted Mansion, all the favorites. So this area here, I give people two recommendations when I'm talking about their trips. One is definitely get here before the park opens, even though today's park open was 8.30 early entry for hotel guests and 9 a.m. for the general public, you could come in, I think they opened it well before 8, but well over at the partner statue or some of your favorite gold statues, all before the parks open at 9, and then you could have, go bum rush those favorite rides. Here a little bit later, everyone's going to rush to those rides, is kind of enjoy this area around 9 to 9, because everyone's running to those rides and standing in those lines. And then as those ride lines dissipate a little bit, you can go head in on that second wave. But early is the way here at Disney. If you're coming, I know it's a vacation. If you want to do it right, I always tell people, wake up at 6 or 6.30, get to the parks early, and then go take a mid-break day. Middle of the day, it's the hottest. It's very crowded. Go back to your hotel, take a nap, go eat some food somewhere save a few bucks, cook back at your resort or your condo, and then come back for the second half of the day from, you know, three o'clock till close or four o'clock to close. As other people are getting tired, the temperature's cooling off a little bit, and then you can stay for fireworks or whatever kind of nighttime spectacular is going on in the parks. Or if you're a maniac like me when I was here coming on vacations before I moved here, you just go from six in the morning to one in the morning. You only live once. <laughs> Suffer when you get home. Or if you have the means to come for like 10 days, and a lot of people come for like, you know, eight, nine, 10 days, sometimes two weeks, and they could really take their time, then pff, you can do whatever you want. You tell me what you're doing. I think we're gonna head towards Adventureland first. But Faris is grabbing some Starbucks. I'm going to see something real quick. I'm going to mute everyone for just one second. I'm doing it. Don't worry. It's not the stream. I'm going to mute. And I'll be right back in just one minute.
We're back. Thanks for being patient with me, everyone. Happy Thursday. This is the vehicle we just got off of, this double-decker. How cool is that? That's right. Another true delight is when they have the pianist outside Casey's. If you're ever sitting over here, he plays all kinds of amazing, not only like just feel good mainstream music, but Disney songs. Sometimes he even takes requests. I believe Grayson's here most of the time. I saw him do Fantasmic the other day, the whole show on the piano. It was so good. What a treat. It's the little things, right? That's why we love it here. Also, if you ever need some uh, first aid or anything for your child, the Baby Care Center and First Aid Station is right here next to Casey's, right between Crystal Palace and uh, the entrance to the Emporium and Casey's. So just so you kind of know where it's at in case you're ever here. And any situation that may arise, you might need something. They've helped me out in the past where I just have a splitting headache or I may have hurt myself, they, some ibuprofen. Uh, if you forget, you know, if you need a diaper or something because you forgot one, you're in an emergency or a wipe or something, they, they help you out with the kids' stuff. They're, they're very nice. Obviously, I would recommend bringing all those things. Don't depend on them all day for that. But they're fantastic. One of my favorite things to do here at Walt Disney World, especially here at the Magic Kingdom, it's kind of just listen and people watch. I love hearing the excitement in the people in people's voices, you know, young and old alike. Even that little kid who just walked next to me, just, you know, turn into his dad and going, have you seen the castle yet? That's what those, these moments are all about. You know, that's what the parks are all about for me. There goes the horse and trolley headed right down the middle of Main Street, USA. How's it going? Good morning. morning. Oh, it looks like they're open. This is great news. Oh, well, maybe just breakfast sandwiches. Any chance there's spring rolls yet or just breakfast sandwiches? 10.30, 11 11-ish. I will be back. Can't wait. They do have the breakfast sandwich here in the morning. For 7.25, you get a sausage, egg, and cheddar served on a bagel. I haven't tried it yet, although I'm kind of tempted to because I'm hungry right now. But I heard it was just okay from a few different people. Ferris, where are you? Please come out and play. You know what we're gonna do while we wait for him? I have an idea. Just because I gotta keep it moving. So much Magic Kingdom to see, so much to do. And so many of you hanging out with me today. Thanks so much, happy Thursday. If you could hit that like button, we're just about to cross the 200 mark. It would really mean a lot to me. There's Abu holding the 50th. So they're leaving the statues, but apparently taking the 50s down. But that Abu right there and this stitch over on the purple wall, the 50 is incorporated. So we're curious to see what they're going to do. Also, if you're ever curious where the Club 33 here at the Magic Kingdom is, it's right up there. They have that balcony to kind of overlook uh, and check out the castle and the fireworks. And the door is right here. They have a very special magic band that they scan right here. Oh, wow. So, 
floating around everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And it's all <laughs> They did get the holiday stuff out though. There's some cute ears out. But this is what I spotted. The holiday stuff. Hi. So I'm gonna catch up with the chat once uh, Faris is back with me. I'm gonna use his phone because this chat on this phone right now, for some reason, something is glitching with the chat where it's combining messages. Not saying don't chat, we'll definitely catch up using Faris's phone. I appreciate everybody being here and I'm sure everyone's being super kind and awesome to each other. So thanks for that. Also, if you ever need help around the parks, just look at these blue umbrellas, the guest experience team, they're great. So you don't have to walk all the way to guest relations in the front of the park, they're scattered about. And while we wait for Ferris, you know what we're gonna do? Because it's one of the only things you'll uh, see this on. Zero, zero minutes from this point. Let's head up to the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. Beautiful walkthrough attraction here at the Magic Kingdom. We like to show you some things that we don't normally get to do. Obviously, we do, we do rides as well and the shows. But we like to mix it up a little bit. So normally this is moving and this is how they would bring the water up to the bedroom areas. So if you don't know the story, this family built this house when they were uh, stranded. I don't know if they were stranded, but completely built off the land and materials they had. Good, good picture. <laughs> it's actually super neat. Like, what a cool project to work on if you're Imagineer. Yeah, so. You got the piano up here. This is where that water would come up, so they have the water from down below. And this is a great spot. If you can manage to time it right, fireworks at night. Beautiful right here. You can see the castle, the top of Tron, Space Mountain. We continue to go up. And this is such a beautiful view for a picture too. And it's usually quiet where right now you grab a great shot, you and your loved ones, friends. Passing one of the bedrooms. This is the Jungle Lookout. In this compound, we often pause to contemplate our small world. Here, adventure beckons with every view and every sound. The jungle and its river call out their mystery and invite us to new discovery. On the other side, the Jungle Cruise, which turns into the Jingle Cruise tomorrow. We have a fast pass for Jungle Cruise. So we're totally going to do it today. 
Here's Fritz, Ernst and Francis, their room, completed on the first anniversary of our deliverance, July 17th, 1805. Would you be cool sharing a room like this? I love their gutter system they created as well. Super cool. It's a view of Adventureland. You can see the Tiki Room there, Pirates. Like I said, Jungle Cruise to the left. The magic carpets of Aladdin are right there. If you haven't heard, in the next few years, they're building a Pirates of the Caribbean lounge right across from the ride that'll continue the story of Pirates of the Caribbean. Here we have the ship's log in the library. These good books, the recording of man's ideas and achievements, were salvaged from our ship. We shall never hunger of food for the mind nor the soul. So they were shipwrecked and stranded. I was right. I almost, I second guessed myself. That's what happens on four hours sleep. Here's our kitchen and dining room, complete with running water, volcanic stone hearth, and oven utensils of our own making, and salvaged from the wreck. Swallow, their wrecked swallow, I guess was the name of the ship, plus nature's bounty and my good wife's cooking amply fulfill our wants. There's the dinner bell. What a kitchen. What a throne. Dun, 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 dun. There's the Agrabah Bazaar and the Zanzibar Trading Company. Have you ever noticed this? It's the little things for me. The little sign with the ship sailing by. Importer of exotic gifts from the four corners of the globe. Sorry. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Do you remember where you parked? Okay. Okay. Where'd you park the stroller? It has to be back there. Here's how to trick your friends. Look for the wet pavement. That's where the camel will get you. And yes, these are the same camels that came from the parade at Disney's Hollywood Studios back in the 90s. When Aladdin was big and they were doing that big parade, they had the spitting camels. And you can see... One here and one right over there. That one spits towards the ride when you're on it. The other one right here for innocent bystanders. Wow. Look at this line. The line starts all the way out here for the Jungle Cruise. Glad we have a fast pass. PSC Piernas. There's a really cool scavenger hunt here uh, in Adventureland you can do. You head all the way to the back of the park. We'll show you. Well, the back of Adventureland, but kind of when you make the turn towards Tiana. There's, I believe, six different scavenger hunts you can do, and they're super cool all around the uh, entire Adventureland area. <laughs> and, ready for this? It's free. Popcorn looks good. Right here, 
Maybe Ferris will want to see the scavenger hunt. I know he's looking for some content. Maybe we'll do one of them. They don't last long. That's why they're six. They're super fun. We did three out of the six on one stream. If you go back a few months, if you want to see a few of them. Oh, it looks like Pyrex is down right now. Oh, boy. Oh, and they're emptying the line. That's not good. Oh, boy. Tortuga Tavern. This is what's being turned into that Pirates of the Caribbean lounge that I was just speaking about. If you like streams like this, especially early morning streams or the fun holiday stuff or Magic Kingdom and some fun facts, please hit that like button. Let me know in the chat in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Come on. Join the fun. This is where you would head for a pirate's adventure, Treasures of the Seven Seas. And this is where you grab those scavenger hunts. And that runs, I believe, from noon till six. Yep, 12 to six. Right next to the Golden Oak Outpost. We're gonna give you a little update on Tiana in a little bit. Just waiting for Ferris, I don't know where he is. There he is, my man. I'm not. I kept like taking my time, stopping places. Did you really go up the treehouse? I was like, he'll wait at the exit. He'll wait at the exit. I was, but you was there for a minute. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna. I was taking my time. We got 410 people watching. Thank you so much for being here. Hit that like button. We could hit 400 likes today. That would be the old time record. We've never passed 400 likes. Let's break a record today. I've never had 400 likes. We've had that many people watching, but we've never had 400 likes on a live stream. This could be a big day. This could be a big deal. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to uh, hit the opera. I'll be right back. What'd you get? What is this? Try it. And they spelled your name right? Everyone, this is how you spell Ferris. <laughs> it's like French vanilla, but um, not. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's make this split it. Mmm. Dang good. Yeah, that's like a dessert. That is delicious. I have an idea for a TikTok, but the only thing is, you don't have a Santa Claus in like a hat, so I don't know how, how good it will do. But my, I was thinking about like this, like, you know how you always like cheerful or something like that? It's like every ride is like. Santa as happy as can be. Basically, the opposite of Jamari. Jamari? Yeah. I'm in. I want to do it. Let's but, do it. But I, get you a hat. I have a Mickey Santa hat at home. I just couldn't find it, but I can always buy another one. No, we should do it. We should do every coaster at SeaWorld. Oh yeah. This, this yeah. yeah. This one is good. You can bring brilliant, ride brilliant. And um, we're gonna do it right, like two, three rides, maybe even. I love it. It's gonna blow up. If you guys are not following Ferris Films on TikTok, what are you doing? If you want to see a crazy uh, TikTok from, from us having some fun at Halloween over at Fort Wilderness, uh, 500,000 views already. Let's push it to a mill. Um, I don't know, you want to go uh, walk this way and then come back to the jungle? Talk this way. If you're just joining, we've been having a beautiful morning here at the Magic Kingdom. The weather is perfect. You may see some people in short sleeves like my man ahead and others in hoodies like Farrah. It's because this morning, about uh, an hour and a half ago, it was in the 50s, and now it's in the upper 60s. It's heating up quickly. It's a great time of year to be here. I was just saying earlier that next week when my uh, mother is here, my brother's coming the week after, they were asking about the weather. It's going to be 80 to 83 during the day, 60 to 63 at night. Like, to me, that is perfect weather. Great time of year to be here. All the Halloween and autumn decor was up yesterday. There was a Halloween party here last night. They were slinging candy. 
They were doing the boot to you parade right here on this road, right in front of us. And then all the magic happened last night. And now we have holiday decorations. Phase one went in last night, another phase tonight. What a time to be alive at the Magic Kingdom. What a time, this is the best. How lucky are we? This is amazing. <laughs> are you not entertained? It's coming along. So you can see a lot of that mountain is uh, now becoming more of that grassy hill, a lot more green than that clay and that uh, mountain coloration. So this more so that splash mountain color. And then you can see as they move along, they chipped off the top and they're going to call this a salt dome because those exist. <laughs> they're making it very authentic. What? It's down two? Jeez, Pirates and Big Thunder. Down. Well, uh, I was going to say the train. Well, we can look. I'll show you that uh, stuff that they completed for Tiana. I was going to say, we should just take the train. Why not? That explains why the line was so long on Jungle Cruise. I'm like, why is the line so long? Because Big Thunder's down and Pirates is down. Sure. All right. So good. Thank you. Sorry about that. I don't know why I hand it back to you. <laughs> Here, I'll get there now. You worked on this attraction too? My first attraction. Really? <laughs> I didn't know that. How long were you at Toy Story? Like two. So I was like, like oh years. wow. I was like, I was like, a, I was like here three years, and then I did Thunder for like like half a yearish, and then I left it to be sort of like. Three, what was What was your favorite attraction to work? Definitely Thunder Mountain. Really? Why? Definitely. All right, so Toy Story Mania was the easiest. But okay. Hey, what's going on? How are you doing, man? How are you? Doing well, thanks. Fancy tour. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous of all of you. Have the best day. Um, Toy Story Mania was the easiest to work, and we had like inside, but I had the best crew at the amount of chess I got. So. Oh, you just enjoy the people you worked with. Yes, they're amazing. They're all amazing. All so much fun to hang out with. Do I know any of them? Are any of them still around? Like, do I know any of them? Um, some of the Big League Bowlers, you do. Oh, that's <laughs> Big League Bowlers. He is referencing after the, well, during, towards the end of the pandemic. Oh, we can't go this way. I can show you from the train station. Um, by the way, now that Splash is closed, these restrooms, a fantastic find. If you want some peace and quiet, <laughs> this area, no, look, nobody's back here. It's like this all day long. So if you want a nice, big, empty, quiet restroom, or just some nice tranquility back here, this is the spot. Yeah. Come to where the exit of Splash used to be. Need a place to argue with your girlfriend. This is the place. <laughs> <laughs> or a place to make up. <laughs> also, the play area is still open. I know when my nephew was here, he loved he loved this more than all the rides we took him on. Get in there. I fit in there, so you, you definitely can. I was in there. You can totally fit. You got this. Come on. Faris. Faris. This could be a thumbnail for you. <laughs> Are you getting too old for this? <laughs> wow. A reverse crab walk. That's impressive. Wow. Nicely Ooh. done. I'm impressed. That was hard work. <laughs> yeah. That crab walk's hard. We had to do it. I mean, I believe they do it in the military, but we had to do a lot of it when I was pledging a fraternity. All right. I think we should head up to the Frontierland Station. What was the hardest part of working one of those three attractions you named? Um, the hardest part for this one is when somebody got a ride and, and they had to tell me where to go. It was kind of hard remembering all the doors. Like, it was a 12 and a half minute ride. Oh. So it was like, oh, go to room 3C or something like that. That um, makes a lot, sense. A lot of times I would forget. Somebody had to call me. <laughs> <laughs> one of the 
Ferris, you go check this out over door 12C. Yeah, can you just tell me where tw door 12C is? That'd be and great. The thing is, like, you have to be quick because they hold up the ride, honestly. So, the whole ride will stop and, like, always look at you, like, stare at you. You gotta put your ID and lock in. And, yeah, so. Honestly, I would say I got evac'd off it once, and that evac was one of the coolest ones. Oh, it's definitely cool. Yeah, remembering the doors. And for Twister Mania, um, make sure everybody's yeah, lap bars cool. are down because you have control over, like, two people's lap bars at a time. You could, like, quickly. And people get in trouble quickly if they forget to buy lap bars. So safety is number one. Okay, so safety first. All right, so you can see all the work they're doing on Tiana's, uh, this is the previously known as Splash Mountain, and including this is the new artwork which they just revealed, and how beautiful is that? Getting a little, getting a little hot. It is getting hot. Could be something under this. I'm going no shirt at the next park, that's it. Florida, man. You want some live construction action? Here it is. Are they redoing the lines? Maybe so the queue will be a new queue. I thought they would just use the old queue. Or will this be theming? You can see the rock and concrete work that they have around. So this is going to be something in here. We got some new timber that went in. Well, this is going to be something fun. I like that they're mixing it up a little bit, you know? As much as I'm going to miss Splash Mountain, it was my favorite ride in this park. I'm staying optimistic, and I'm uh, excited to see what's to come. You know, Walt Disney himself even said, the parks will never be complete. They'll always be changing. They'll always be evolving. So all we can do is hope and pray and for the best. Yeah, here's that continuation of that. So I'm guessing this will continue here. Moving dirt. Moving dirt. Yeah, that'd be funny. We definitely should do it. I'm in. We can do it next week. Still do that. Five seconds you drive. That's it. Very easy. Like Do you want me to wear the wig too? I have a white wig. I have a full Santa outfit. You don't have with you though. Well, I can't do it today. Well, don't you want me to have the Santa hat? I can do it next week when the parks are actually decked out. Well, it's loud, so I may as well show you what they're doing. Here's your live action construction update. But oh, here comes the train. I hear the whistle. That's our ride. I might, I might get you a hot dog. All right. That's our ride. A little bit of everything on today's stream. We're getting some holiday decorations, some rides, some construction updates. This looks new too. That's new brick for sure. I want to test something on this gimbal. Let's see if I can do it. Um, I gotta wait till we're out of the sun. Again, big thanks to Daniel, the Tomorrowland Traveler. I woke up, well, I didn't wake up. I, right before I went to bed last night, I woke up to it charged. But right before I went to bed last night, showed up on my door, brand new gimbal. So thanks so much. If you guys are want an awesome YouTube channel to follow, the Tomorrowland Traveler, and also, if you're ever booking any vacation here in Orlando, Make sure you're using a travel agent. We have six amazing travel agents in our Discord. Check out our Discord. But also, you can go to the TomorrowlandTraveler.com. And we'll see him on some streams this weekend. We have a lot of people in town for the Run Disney Race weekend. Where to?
Um, I just wanted uh, less people in front of me, so if I talk, I'm jumping right here. More construction updates over here. I do like the bright, vibrant colors. You can see another painting on the other side over there, just through the tree. But as they work, you can see the windows are going in. That got a fresh coat of paint, new brickwork on the bottom. I love the way they covered the door. It's coming along next year, 2024. Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Now he looks Christmassy. Mm -hmm. Holiday spirit, the red and the green. Mm -hmm. What a day we are having already and what a weekend it's gonna be. Again, if you haven't subscribed, we have so much content coming your way. If there's enough action for a live stream, we're heading over to the ESPN's wide world of sports this afternoon to pick up our bibs, check out all the merch for the Disney, run, well, I should say the Run Disney Wine and Dine race weekend. So we might be live this afternoon, if it's worth it. Tomorrow morning, I am live streaming the 5K from getting there in the morning to the pre-race fun. The entire race, I will stay live. All the characters, all the fun stuff happening, the DJs right, and the post-race. Just for friendly reminders, there's no eating or drinking while on the Please make sure we have all hands on feet, legs, those blue bars at all times. Thank you. There may be another live stream Friday. We'll see. Saturday, I think we'll be hanging out with friends all day, but, uh, you know, Lauren, as well as a lot of other people are doing the 5K Friday, the 10K Saturday, and the half marathon Sunday. We'll definitely be live. I think I'm going to do uh, from the race Sunday morning, and I'm thinking almost 100% positive we're going to do a live stream Sunday night as well. Sheila E. is performing at Epcot Food and Wine, but also the post-race party is Sunday night, and I think we're going to just stay live and stick around for the entire post-race party at Epcot. Sometimes you see a lot of rare characters. There's like no lines for anything. And then Monday morning, the grand reopening of Blizzard Beach. It hasn't been open for a while. So we'll be there 10 a.m. Monday. And then all next week, we're checking out all the parks, all the resorts, all the Christmas decor. And then the week after that, we'll be going over to SeaWorld and Universal as well. So a ton of content coming your way. Make sure you're subscribed. You got that bell on, you hit all notifications. And if you haven't hit the like button yet, hook me up. Look, there's the problem. Big Thunder is just sitting on a hill. It's a ghost train. <laughs> if you had to guess how many times you've gone on Big Thunder Mountain in your entire life. So for those who don't know, Ferris grew up here. I always have questions for him like this because I think it's just crazy living your whole life this close to the parks and are you still excited? And he always says yes, right? You like, you still enjoy coming to the parks. Yeah, I do. Even though you've been here your entire life. So in your entire life and working here and being a cast member uh, back in the day, how many times have you had, a, even like a range, how many times do you think you've been on Big Thunder Mountain? Like, are we talking... 500, 1500, 2500. I'll be that one. I'll be talking like, uh, like yeah, 300, 400, 500, 700. It's got to be at least 500. I think so. Let's say you go on even once a week for the last five years that I've known. Or some days you go on two or three times in a week when you have friends in town or like you're giving a celebrity a tour. Like, that's 50 times a year. And you've been here your whole life. No, you're right, because now I think about it. I did Guardians like, what, 100 times in a year? You've been Guardians in it 100 times in the first year it was open. Yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm buying a thousand right now. I was, that's why I was like, it's got to be at least a thousand times on Big Thunder. I mean, bubble. That's crazy. 
So I've definitely been on Space Mountain more. Space Mountain's most the ride you've done the most here? No. What about out of every park, what's the ride you've done the most? Space? Wow. All right, we just brought up Guardians of the Galaxy. You've done it over a hundred times. What is the song you got the most? Really? Yeah. See, I don't mind that. I think that's a fun song. But I think we both agree the best song. I ran? Yeah, I ran is the best song. For that ride, for sure. They're all fun though. There's and for those who don't know, there's six, right? Six, six different songs that you can get on Guardians. Like, like, they like, they like, wow. I really, I, I called in like every favor to everybody I know at Epcot because when they Flock of Seagulls, who sings I Ran, played uh, Flower and Garden, or was it Eats of the Beat? I don't remember because all the festivals are the same to me. But uh, <laughs> Gators, uh, keep your eyes peeled for black bears. It might be real. Um, I wanted to like ride Guardians of the Galaxy with them to that song. Did you see Gloria Stefan rode to Kaga? She came down. She came down with her family and did Guardians to Kaga, which is her song. That's got to be a lot of fun. What's your favorite park ever, like out of the four parks, right now in the current state that they are in? Yeah. Even the classics like Soarin' and Living with the Land, I love. Stop and you hear me say those magical words. Oh, clear. Once again, friends, please remain seated and do not exit the train. What? I know your favorite animal. Well, I always say it's a tie, Epcot Animal Kingdom. It'll probably go back. It, so it was always Epcot until I moved here. And then I like Animal Kingdom just because it's different every time I go. Please remain seated. And Epcot, because it's been under construction since I've been here, has not been the same. Epcot has been, the walls have been up. They took away my favorite show, Illuminations. It's, it's a heartbreaker for me. But now that the walls are coming down, Luminous is coming back. Uh, also, Guardians is in there now. I do like the new Moana area. I tell everyone right now it's a tie. But Animal Kingdom is just such a beautiful park when you're a local because if you can take your time and walk around all those secret trail areas and you can go look at the animals, the park changes every day. And it's, I think, it's the most detail-oriented park ever created where they thought about every little thing. Like you go to like an area that six people go to a day, there's still like 7,000 details on a lamppost. Oh yeah, good call. Let's catch up with some chat. Thanks, Ferris. While we're here at the station. So I'm gonna go back as far as I can. Rosita says, when's the next meetup? Yeah, we're gonna meet up in the late spring. Bill says, break that record, Pete. You deserve it. Thanks. Yeah, if everyone can hit the like button, that would be fun. We're going to try and break the like record today. Rosita says, I'm trying to plan my trips for next year. My hubby seriously wants to go back to Alani. I hear it's beautiful. I would love to go there one day. Andrew Ramirez says, hey, man, I'm new to the channel. Can you give me a quick synopsis of you and the channel? Sure. So, uh... There we go. I was waiting for that. Hi, Andrew. I'm Pete. This is my friend, Ferris. And uh, I live 10 to 15 minutes away from Disney, depending from where. I'm originally from New York. I moved down here uh, in 2019, so it's been about four years and change. I'm a big fan of the Disney theme parks. I'm a big fan of uh, all, well, all the theme parks. I just like theming. I like people having fun. I like people escaping. I know that reality is tough and hard. So if we can create a little bit of magic for you, no matter what theme park we're in, and have some fun, that's what we're all about here. We're big on positivity. We promote that here in the chat, as well as in our Discord. It's always positivity first. There's uh, enough negativity out there in the world. We just try to find the, the fun in everything. I also like, like I said, I like sports. We do a lot of fun sports stuff. I love traveling. I'm also a craft beer guy, so we do a lot of brewery stuff uh, here and around the country. I love traveling. 
So we do a lot of road trips and wherever I go, we do videos from. And uh, we do hangouts and meetups here that are completely free. We don't charge for them uh, twice a year in the spring and fall. We had one in early October, as well as for big weekends like this. We're doing the Run Disney weekend. My other half, Lauren, uh, is an awesome runner. She's doing the 5K, 10K and a half marathon. I'm just doing the 5K. But uh, so we do a lot of sporting events and stuff like that. And yeah, that's me in a nutshell. You can go follow the socials and see some of the shenanigans there too. My Instagram is at official carney. My Twitter or X is at your WDW guy. And my TikTok is Adventures by Carney. All right, we're going to go back to the chat. But great question, and thank you for asking. I appreciate uh, you throwing that out there, Andrew. And if you're a new subscriber, everybody, let me know in the chat. I'll say hi. We'll give you some love. All right. Uh, and also, if you're on TikTok, Farris Films. Farris with an A. Colin Cropley, what's going on? Suzanne Ritchie says, beautiful day, fabulous weather. I agree. Nico, <laughs> the grassy knoll. That's what I was going to call it before. Yes, uh, I guess congratulations to Texas Ranger fans. Good morning, D'Lo. Great to see you. Good morning, Eliza. Thanks for being here with us. Lynette's here hanging out. Thanks for hanging out with us, Lynette. Tell everyone to hit that like button. I appreciate it. Steven Noon says, Ferris, how many times did you run into Jess on Toy Story Mania? So our friend Jess, she's our Fort Wilderness savior. We had a ton of fun there. Big shout out to her. But she... That's not matter. That was going to say, that's how you guys met. And she prides herself in some amazing scores. She is a wizard. Who's better, you or her? Her, by far. She probably gets double my score. Yeah, she gets like, what, 500000 Something crazy. So how many times did you run into her and how did you become friends? I ran into her about, I don't know, a lot, like, like 40 times probably, about that time. Yeah, and probably more than that, I can't remember. But um, I'm there because, because of that, but we also had um, these are friends, like one of her best friends was um, my substitute teacher. That's so funny. So, small world, yeah. literally a Disney. And she used to teach tomorrow. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So crazy. She could teach that same thing, God. She's awesome. We love Jess. And I would recommend watching any of our Fort Wilderness videos. It's so good. Always a good time. Have a good one. What's going on? Good morning to Marmar. So it's checking in from a chilly Minnesota. Delo says, good morning, everybody. Thanks for being here for Pete. You're also watching the stream. Hit the like button. Consider subscribing. Thanks, Delo, my promoter. You're the best. Ultron Vision Prime says, hey, what's going on? Great to see you. Christine Keeter. Says, uh, you're, you have a much better attitude than I do about Splash Mountain. I'm still a little bitter. It happens. I mean, you can you hear me about Illuminations. I'm still a little bitter. But you know what? Bigger and better things. Hopefully. I love it. Steven Newton says, you should do a bunch of Ted Lasso-style shorts as Santa. Santa in the Ted Lasso outfit. I'm into it. Ooh, we're entering the tunnel. Taken over by Indians? Uh. Kimberly and what's going on? Said make that seven. Seven amazing travel agents. I just don't read Discord that much. That's right, them too. We have so many amazing travel agents. And again, if you ever have any questions or anything about your trip, jump on our Discord, ask. We actually have a whole uh, section for theme park tips and tricks. Cindy B is a new subscriber. I'm enjoying your stream. Thank you so much to Cindy B. Steven Oon says Pirates is back up. That's good news. <laughs> Oh, thanks, D'Lo. So subscribe to the channel. Pete's very fun, informative, super nice, and he's a good dancer. Good morning, Christina G. And again, I love uh, Bill. I'm not sure if you heard my comment, but love those puppets and the performers in Animal Kingdom. They do have Pocahontas back in the park as well. Andrew Ramirez, great to meet you as well. Once again, please remain seated and do not exit the train. Please remain seated and do not exit the train. 
You can see the holiday decor right here, right next to us. As guests are making their way into the Magic Kingdom. And Ramirez lives in Philly, big fan of both Disney Universal, especially the theme parks. I go to Six Flags Great Adventure. That was my theme park growing up. I grew up on Long Island. I will definitely be subscribing. Thanks. Appreciate that. The West Wing says, found this stream this morning. I'm a new subscriber. Excited to join the fun. I'm excited that you're here too. Kayla B says, good morning. I just stumbled across your channel. It looks like a beautiful day. It is. We're having a fantastic day here. Thanks to everybody who's here in the chat, who's hit the like button, who's new, the new subscribers, the old subscribers. I'm just happy you're all here. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, let's go this way real quick. Why not? We haven't shown it yet. Let's show you the beautiful view. First of all, I love this train station. They got some pressed pennies up here, the old uh, scrolling comics. You can put your eyes in here and see the comic. You see the wonders of the world. That's a great picture. Would you like me to take one for you? All right, you're good. Here we are, look how beautiful. So what do you think they're gonna do about the castle, Ferris? Do you think they're gonna leave these colors? Do you think they're gonna return it to the pre-50th colors? Or do you think they're gonna paint it a completely different color? Probably gonna keep it the way it is on it. I like it before, but... Yeah, I'm with you, I think. I mean, they did say they were gonna spend like, you know, billions in the parks, but I don't see them repainting this castle for another at least five years. But we shall see, because technically it was painted for the 50th, stage show going on right now you can see if you zoom in so this is phase one of the holiday decorations like i said last night was the halloween party so they only had about five hours last night to take down all of the halloween decorations in the park and get it up as much as they can they'll be doing more the tree will be going up this week uh they'll be doing a lot more with the flower beds so now we have a decision to make do we go back into the park, go on some rides, or do I hop on a monorail and go to Epcot and see if Epcot has any holiday decor up? All right, Chad, it is up to you. Stay here at the Magic Kingdom, go on some rides here, or since we've been here for the last two hours, do we hop on a monorail and head over to Epcot and see what's happening over at Epcot and take a fun little monorail ride? Let me know what you want to do. This is a create your own adventure. Oh, look at that timing. <laughs> the best part of that for me was you. Oh, no! <laughs> look at that. Yeah. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> See what the chat says. I can't, no, for some reason, my chat isn't working and I don't want to exit the stream because we have, you know, a bunch of people hanging out today. It just glitched out of the gate. And everyone's saying Epcot? Oh, you can hop there too. Oh, that's right. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking about that. Maybe doing another stream at two. Do Epcot and then maybe also do ESPN My World of Sports for the uh, 
Run Disney Expo that's going on over there. What time is it now, though? Because I also I have to pick up what's his face. All right. We have a half hour. All right. New question. Do we go on the Jungle Cruise or the People Mover? I have a Lightning Lane for the Jungle Cruise, and the People Mover has no weight. So basically, we can go to either one. I'll walk down Main Street in the meantime. I'll let the chat decide. Everyone, I know you wanted to do Epcot. I totally forgot that we were so close. We're two months away from being able to park hop whenever we want. I totally forgot we can't park hop until two. Oh, that's so upsetting. Everyone was so excited. I was excited. I really wanted to go over to Epcot. Yeah, we have a bunch of friends over at Epcot. I don't know, it's kind of close. Jungle Cruise and People Mover. People are saying both. So maybe you might have to do both. <laughs> oh boy. We have time to go. Bro, that looks like a heck of a Let me try to count it. All right, get your votes in. Ferris is counting now. Jungle Cruise or People Mover? All right, you, everyone, let's see. You have another 40 seconds. Are you on all messages or top messages? All messages. All right, so there you go. What? If we have time for both, we'll try, but you gotta pick one first. Which one do we do first? All right. What's TTA mean? Uh, people mover. Also, people mover definitely one. Though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> People mover it is. That's fair because honestly, we're going to be come back and we're definitely doing the Jingle Cruise next week. <laughs> I really had no idea what that meant. <laughs> so I was like, I was like ignoring it. But like, oh. <laughs> so the TTA is the Tomorrowland Transit Authority, mm -hmm. which is the People Mover. You just thought people were voting for a random. <laughs> I thought that was saying slang. <laughs> That Disney slang. I'll, I thought it was taking a presentation. That's why I was like, that's how you say it. Like the Toontown Academy. If you were watching earlier, we got to ride on the second story of the bus right there. That was fun. Second story, second level, top deck, upper deck. I'm walking right down the right side of Main Street, USA. Also, a fun fact a lot of people know, but in, just in case you don't, I'll give you another little fun fact. When you're walking down Main Street, it looks long and grand and you're the forced perspective is to make it seem like this super long, beautiful walk to the castle. And then when you're leaving at night, it's reversed. It's actually using forced perspective to make the street look shorter so it doesn't look as such a long walk so you feel as though you could exit the park faster and it's not this grueling long walk. So shorter when you're leaving, longer when you're entering. A lot of fun. Brilliant stuff, those Imagineers. Brilliant. Also, Another fun fact involving Disney Springs. If you go to the one end of the spring to the other end of the spring at Disney Springs, it is the same distance as Main Street from the train station to the castle. The more you know. Congratulations. Thank you very much. If you're ever here at night and you gotta, you know, you're on vacation, wanna splurge a little bit. This is where they do the firework viewing parties for the, uh, whether you're doing a Mickey's Very Merry or just a regular night for Happily Ever After. And the nice part is you have re uh, reserved seating out on the lawn, or you can sit here on the terrace, but reserved seating out on the lawn. You don't have to wait for the crowd and you get dessert. And also one of the uh, big bonuses, since you can't really purchase alcohol here at the Magic Kingdom, unless you're at a sit down restaurant, there is alcohol involved. So if you're an adult who enjoys a beverage, those dessert parties include those alcoholic beverages. 
You don't have, and you get a, your own little VIP area for fireworks. I believe those prices hover around about a hundred bucks. So a little bit pricey, that's on top of your park ticket. <laughs> but you're guaranteed a great spot for fireworks. You get some dessert at the end of the night and you get a couple of drinks. I don't believe they limit you as long as you're being responsible. And you could watch from down here on the terrace or out on the grass. And I love pointing this out because Lynette's been here a bunch of times. She said she never knew this existed until one of my streams. But I always like to say hi to my friend the dragon here who's been hanging out here for years and years. I love the dragon topiary. The infamous purple wall here, Stitch. This is another one of those where we weren't sure what they were gonna do because they said they're leaving the gold statues. They were up for the 50th. But now they're not for the 50th. They're just part of the park because the 50th at this point was over two years ago. So what will they do? Will they put something else in his mouth? Will he just be smiling? Will they just leave it there anyway? If you're not a super Disney fan, it could get confusing because you see Disney 100 everywhere and then you still see random characters holding a big 50 in their mouths. It's like, what's going on? Are Disney posting random numbers? And if you're not aware, I'll fill you in in case you're, you know, new to the scene here, hanging out for the first time, is Walt Disney World here in Orlando, Florida, celebrated their 50th anniversary because it opened on October 1st, 1971. The Walt Disney Company was started 100 years ago on October 16th, a few weeks ago. And that was back in 1923. The more you know. Are there any rides at Disney you have not done? Just checking. Yeah, probably the same. I don't know. I might have done everything over there when I was there. By the way, I look for Jason every time I'm here. Never see him. I'm convinced he doesn't even work here anymore. Oh. I mean, it's sad for us, but good for him. Like I said, no wait for the people mover. Sometimes I didn't even look that up. I could just sense. I'm, I've, I think I... That's how you know I'm one of the luckiest guys in the world. When I can just look around the park. We have not been in Tomorrowland at all today. And I have not looked at an app or a time guide. And I could just be like, you know what? People movers are gonna have no way. I'm pretty good at this game too. And I'm here with Lauren and we're on our own hanging out. She likes to have me guess the wait times of rides before I can look at anything. I just have to get like a general sense of the crowd and then she quizzes me. I'm pretty good most of the time, I'm not gonna lie. Welcome aboard. This was sponsored by Alamo for the longest time. Now Enterprise. What are you doing the rest of the day after, uh, I know you got stuff to do in the middle of the day, what are you doing later on? Any fun plans? Any Oh, that's right. There's a, this, this is the last night of Horror Nights tonight. I thought tonight's the last one. They have another one tomorrow? They're going to the fourth Horror Nights? What? This I did not know. What's up? Living the dream. How about you? I love it. I love it. Yeah, but that's like Halloween weather. Gracias. What's up, Booger? How's things? Ah, having a good time. Thank you, thank you. I love that guy. Always in a good mood. My man Booker. What? Yeah. Every time I see him, he works this ride. Well, I go on this a lot because, like, people love the people mover. I love the people mover. So he's always in a good mood, though. We just, we just, we gel, we jive. We're connected. Please 
see. Different vibe. Hands, arms, legs, and other appendages inside your car. Here we go. By popular demand, ladies and gentlemen, the TTA people mover. This is the TTA Blue Line, non stop service around Tomorrowland. Intergalactic travelers, welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm Orac 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see tomorrow. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? From spacecraft to monster laughs, there's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not take flight while on board. Thank you. That's fair. It's a fair request. The step and repeat is gone. The Mr. Toad step and repeat was right there. The next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Traders. Transfer to Green and Red Line. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling to the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. If for any reason we ever lose service on this ride, sometimes we get like a little bit of a lag. Just hit refresh. We're not going anywhere. Trust me. I always say goodbye. And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny bull Right, the Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except actual stars. Those are the owners. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit, and these are two of the best tracks in the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. The Tomorrowland Speedway, already cars warming up this morning for the big race, some stalling. Gotta hit that gas. A lot of young drivers, gonna have to check some IDs. Attention all visitors from Galaxy M31. Please keep forward-facing- Remember we used to do Tron construction updates? Uh, I gotta get a new fuel red. We have a castle view. Wait. Oh, so close. Like you're back again. 
Yeah. I'll touch a pastor's church. Well, people of Earth, people of Earth. For your safety, please remain seated at all times. Keep your hands on the inside. This church could start up at any moment. So for your safety, please remain seated at all times. Keep your hands on the inside. Thank you. Crazy that you can still see that moon so clearly, too. Right there. The moon is up over the Magic Kingdom. Space Mountain. We're looking at the moon in the middle of the day. Magic is happening. Once again, while we're stopped here, go check out the socials if you want to see all the fun we're going to have all weekend long. I'll be posting on Instagram at official Carney. If it's Disney stuff, uh, I'll also be posting on Twitter at your WDW guy and the TikTok adventures by Carney. The other TikTok you got to go follow Farris Films. That's Farris with an A F A R R I S film F I L M S. All right, good call. Filling me in. <laughs> Brandy said F in the chat for Park Hopping Four Two. <laughs> Stevens is sorry point. Lots of Fs in the chat. Thank you. Uh, Tomorrowland Traveler said, Why all the Fs in the chat? Uh, Brandy said <laughs> Fs in the chat because we can't park out. A lot of love for the people mover. Mandy's over at Universal. That's fun. Dream big, live grand. So Epcot usually doesn't decorate for Christmas until food and wine is over. That's true, but we figure we just check it out because it's always fun to take that monorail ride and you get the little construction update. Uh, Marmar, we, did, we already went to the Grand Floridian this morning. It was actually on this stream about, I don't know, an hour and a half ago. Disney Chuck, what's going on? Aaron DeWinter, what's happening? Good morning. Daniel Delgado. What's up? What's up? Jingle Cruise does start tomorrow, so I think we're going to do the Jingle Cruise the next time we're here. Tomorrow we have the race in the morning, and I think we're going to shower and change. No, I have the whole afternoon and evening free. I'm kind of going to see what everybody wants to do, but what are you doing? That's all I was going to do. We're up to. Lauren B said, we did a dessert party last October. The viewing spot still gets a little crowded. But uh, if you drink the alcohol, it's definitely worth it. If not, you might want to save your money. There you go. Uh, Aaron has a question for Ferris. This is such a fun place, but is it also fun to work here? It's still a job. As usual, I made a lot of friends, a lot of memories, and so does the carousel. Like I agree. Yeah. yeah. Very different. And also, keep in mind, too, is that they come in every day and have to put a smile on everyone's face. They have to be smiling, and it's always a great day. They're stupid, but that's their job. Like, they still have all their issues and things happening in their lives family and friends, uh, you know, whatever it might be a car trouble or financial trouble or something going on. And they still have to make sure your day is magical. So, always be nice to the cast members. Because they're coming in. Also, no one's getting rich working at Disney unless you're uh, an upper management. So always be kind to cast members. Creating all that magic. Felix Gomez, good morning. What's going on, Bo Peep, my girl? So we need more magic uh, with Pete and Nick on Thursday nights. Yeah, those are the fun times. <laughs> no, Felix is in the chat. Oh, no, 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 there's a Felix in the chat. Mike Wazowski has brought in some real monsters of comedy. Whether you have one eye or nine, take the time to see this show. Now approaching Tomorrowland Transit Authority Station. My fellow sentient life forms, our people who for journey has nearly come full. Oh snap, we're only nine likes away from 300. 
Let's go. Don't forget too, if you're watching on a replay, you can always leave a comment, you can like, uh, and also we'd love to, you can still subscribe. And if you are a new subscriber and we're not live, you're watching a replay, drop a comment. I'll still say hi. I like appreciating all of you. And also a big shout out to all the lurkers out there. Obviously, not everybody is in the chat in the comments who watches the videos. So thank you to the thousands of you who watch, you know, whether you're at work or at home or leave the TV on during the day for your pets for, to watch me. I'm okay with that too. Uh, it means a lot. Without all of you, there would be no channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I, uh, I never forget how lucky I am that people are actually watching this when I turn it on. So thanks, everyone. If I'm bringing a little bit of love and joy into your life, you're definitely doing it for me, too. So it's a two-way street. Thank you. All right, I need a fuel rod stack. Please keep arms, antennae, and other appendages away from the doors and remain until they open automatically. Step onto the moving platform with caution and exit by stepping away from the car. The gimbal's at 10%, the phone's at 10%. I'm at 10%. <laughs> We're so close. We're so close. The people movers are 10%. Caution and exit by stepping away Which will die first, the phone, the gimbal, or the people mover? Please keep arms and That's it. I was full when I got here, but now it's empty. Oh, are we going to let me go here? Oh, no. Look, we're so close. Yeah. yeah. What? No, this is the 13 Pro, and this is the Osmo 6. Again, big shout out to Marlon Traveler. What a guy. You're simply the best. Ferris, what's your all-time favorite Disney song from any movie or television show or production? Wow. And what's your all-time favorite Disney movie? Wow. My life story. You are a big Star Wars person, yeah. Peter Pan's also Lauren's favorite. You guys have so much in common. Ugh. She does not do the horror. She likes thrillers. Like, you ever see the movie Seven? I think you would like it. It was like Saw before Saw. Got Brad Pitt in it, a few other big actors. That's a cute photo. Little princess going up. The, the people mover escalator, I guess you could call this. It is a beautiful day. Again, I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far. If not, you still have two amazing days to turn it around. It's only Thursday, and the weekend's so close. I hope you're crushing your goals. If you said any at the beginning of the year, you still have time. We got two full months. November just started. Never give up. Keep pushing. I'm rooting for you. I gotta remind myself of that too. I'm way far behind on some goals. I've accomplished some, which is great. 
But even like last night, I was like, all right, I gotta get more days at the gym in before the end of the year. So at midnight, I went to the gym. <laughs> Just baby steps, one day at a time. But if anything else, I always like to say, just keep spreading that kindness. Try to find the good in any situation. Give others grace. You don't know what they're going through. Everybody's got a story. Let's make the world just a happier place. It's kind of crazy what's going on out there. And hopefully we'll bring you a ton of magic over the next two months as the holidays have officially arrived in Orlando. We'll be showing you all the resorts, all the theme parks, not only Disney, but we'll be over at SeaWorld, we'll be over at Universal, we'll be at Islands of Adventure. Heck, maybe we'll even do Gatorland again. Who knows? What time is it? There's also going to be a lot of fun side trip adventures here in Orlando because there's so much to see and do. Farris and I are in content creating mode. Yeah. We're going hard. We're going to see a lot of Farris. We're back. Again, for the rest of the day, I'm not sure if we'll be going live again from ESPN's Wide World of Sports or Epcot, but we shall try. If it's worth the stream, we're going to put it on, so make sure you got that bell on, hit all notifications, and you're subscribed. So that way, if we do decide to go live out of nowhere today, you're in the know, you're aware. I can guarantee we'll be live tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. from the Epcot parking lot for the Run Disney Wine and Dine races. I'm running it. We have a whole bunch of us who are going to be there. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm keeping the camera on for the whole thing, before the race, during the race, after the race. And if you're not waking up that early, you can always come in later on, join the stream, or watch the replay. And like I said, I've talked about it all stream, but we have a ton of content coming your way. You really don't want to miss it. Follow the socials in between the streams. Jump on our Discord. We have an amazing Discord. And also, if you're able to do so and you want to support the channel, Go check out our Patreon, patreon.com backslash adventures by Carney. From three bucks up to whatever you want, you could uh, help support the channel and help us uh, do more things, create more magic, have more fun. And I know it's not for everybody, so thank you, thank you, thank you to all the Patreons out there who are able to help out and support the channel. It means the world to me. And we have a Zoom call on November 7th where we get to all hang out together. So start banking those questions and comments and suggestions or funny request, anything you want from me. What a fun stream today has been. We were some of the first people inside of the Magic Kingdom before the park even opened. And we got to see phase one of these amazing holiday decorations. And we are just getting started. I will say within the next seven days, we will be in every single theme park and bringing you all the fun stuff going on holiday-wise and all the good positive energy. Feel free to share this stream with your friends and family if you think somebody would enjoy it. If you haven't hit the like button, you still have time. If you're watching in the future, you could do it too. I'll see you in the Discord. I'll see you uh, on the socials. I'll definitely be posting on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok over the next, you know, a lot over the next few days. And uh, I want to thank Farris for hanging out with me this morning. You're the man. Go follow Farris Films on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have an amazingly magical Thursday. Maybe you'll see me later on today. If not, definitely tomorrow morning. I love you all. And please do me one big, big favor. Please be kind to one another. See you real soon. Bye-bye.